words, different uh, different notation maybe. Um, your linearization is uh, taking a function and coming up with a, a line that approximates that function near a certain point. Okay, we've already had that. If you have a if you have a graph here, um, well actually let's do this instead. If you put in here y equals x squared, and we've already looked at the fact that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line, y equals x squared. And then if we, well, we put this on here geometrically, not using calculus, but if we get it to put a tangent on here at that point, come on, our tangent is there. Okay, so that tangent, um, obviously the slope of that is the derivative. When you're near this point, the, ta the tangent line is a good approximation of the curve, right? If you zoom in on this part here, like if you zoom in close to that point, okay, the closer you zoom, the more you zoom in on that point, um, it's like they're closer and closer, right? If you zoom in on something that's curved, it looks straighter and straighter the closer you look, right? I mean, the Earth is round, but when you look near locally, it's it looks flat, right? So it's the same thing here. If you zoom in on that point, it looks straight. So if you're if you're close to this if you're close to this point, the line's a good approximation of the curve. If you zoom out, or if you go far away from that point, the farther away from you go from that point, the worse the line approximates the curve. Uh, we're not going to need this much or do much with this, but it's a concept to understand. You can use you can use uh, lines to approximate curves if you're working close by. Actually, the the way your calculator is programmed to find uh, the zeros and the max and mins and stuff like that, it uses this concept because it's easier to do the programming for straight lines. So I think uh, I'm not an expert on this, but I think what it does is if it's trying to look for an x-intercept, it uses a straight line approximation, and then it uses what it finds as the zero, and then it makes another straight line approximation, and it kind of narrows in on the point it's looking for. That's actually in section 4.5 in the textbook, but it's not part of the course that we do. All you need to be responsible for is thinking about um, doing a linear approximation for a curve at a certain point, realizing, of course, that if we if we write the equation for this line at, that goes through this point, it's a good approximation near that point, not far away from that point. You don't have a linear approximation that's good for the entire curve, right? Only it's it's dependent on what point you're looking at. Okay, if you're at that point, you know this this line here that has the equation. Whichever form you write the equation, but y equals negative 2x minus 1 is a good approximation for this curve if you're near the point negative 1, 1. If you go over here somewhere, okay, this this line here, y equals negative 1.03x minus 0.26, is a good approximation near this. The farther away you go from that point, the worse it is as an approximation. Okay, so you can come up with a linear approximation at a certain point, and you Basically, you use the derivative, right? This is the derivative, this slope here. You can work it, you can use the derivative of this to come up with the linear approximation, the equation. You find the derivative, you evaluate it at a certain point. Like, where does that 1.4 come from? What's the derivative of this x squared? 2x. So if you use the x value, so it's, it's y prime, you know, evaluated for this x value. You get 1.4, that's the slope times x, and then you just have to figure out what this value is. This value is the y value for that particular thing, okay? This is the y value added on the end here, right? So wherever I put this line here, okay, this this last value here is the y value, right? The y, it passes through that point. It makes sense, right? It passes through that point here. It makes sense that that's the y value, okay? Anyways, as soon as you start looking at the notation here, I think people get a little bit more. It seems like it's more confusing, but it's not, okay? Oops. Yes.
Oh yeah, no, I I told you, yeah, I told you the wrong thing there, or slightly a misleading thing here. If it was shifted, we have to write it in a different form before we see where that is. Let's go back here. If you uh, move this around here somewhere, okay, this is not going to match this. But if you put this in uh, point slope form, if you put this in point slope form, which this doesn't do, um, then the value added on the end is going to be this y value here. Basically, what you're doing is you're thinking. Um, the way we're going to write the equation of the line is we're going to think of it passing through the center and then shifting it to whatever that point is, the way you write a point-slope form equation. 